e nā kumua kua pau i hanau ia i ka pau i ka lahi ki ku. Eia mai ke kai mai. E nā lā lā li ia pau i hanau ia i ka pau i ka lahi ki ku. Eia mai ke kai mai. E nā vēla ua li ia pau i hanau ia i ka pau i ka lahi ki ku. Eia mai ke kai mai. E nā pua li ia pau i hanau ia i ka pau i ka lahi ki ku. E ku, e ola, a kau, a kanikoo, a palalauhala, a haumaka i ole, a kolopupu, a hiki i ka pua ane ane. Eia mai ke kai mai. Papahana Mokuakea is a super special place to Hawaiians. This is a place where the islands, once they have emerged from the sea and gone through their life, come to rest. When we visit these ancient sea mounds, we're visiting our ancestors. Excitement of discovery is very clear when we're out here. We're out here exploring Papanamakuakea, or the Northwest Hawaiian Islands. We're looking for new species, new life, new ecosystems, just generally exploring to inform better decisions on how to manage and conserve these precious waters. Norsha Bokeh Let's Explore is America's premier and only vessel dedicated to ocean exploration. The ship has a suite of high resolution sonars and an ROV that can go down and characterize or ground truth the sonar data. So we can do the whole thing from mapping to ground truthing off one platform. We have two remotely operated vehicles, Sirius and Deep Discoverer. We send down both ROVs at a time as part of a two-body system uh, from the Okeanos. Okay, Deck, our speeds look good. Let's launch D2. We see things every day that people have never seen before and might never see again. For someone who's seen hundreds of ROV dives at this point, I've never seen a predatory chitin. And then we discovered this one seamount that was loaded in them. We saw dozens over the course of just a couple hours, but we haven't seen them again. There were some dives where we were coming across coral that was thousands of years old. Some of those colonies probably were here long before the first Hawaiians came to the islands. In our creation stories, when we talk about how life began, it starts with pole, it starts with the darkness, and then it starts with the first living things as being the deep sea creatures. Those are all our first ancestors and the oldest relatives to Hawaiians getting a glimpse into that ancient world as we've been doing this cruise has been meaningful in a way that I don't think I can even put into words. Not only is there steep cultural heritage here, but also modern history is captured here on the seafloor uh, through the Battle of Midway wrecks. In the context of World War II, Midway was really seen as a turning point. We're looking at USS Yorktown here. Just aft of the island, there is the aircraft elevator. And so there's a mural here on the starboard side facing outwards that we want to be able to take a look at and see its preservation condition. The lights and the optical zoom capabilities of D2 are gonna be really important there to see what's kind of lurking in the dark. We should hopefully be approaching a wreck here soon. We're within about 30 meters. The Tower of Telepresence is certainly impactful. It can bring a wide variety of scientists and their knowledge to bear and help us explore these sites. There is a painted mural that we have only seen like a partial image of it in photograph. Wow, that's a great shot, guys. Oh, it's such good piloting. This is the first time we're seeing this whole image. This is history of the making. That's definitely a plane. This is the first time we have actually seen aircraft. 
associated with the Battle of Midway on any of these wreck sites. This is game-changing in terms of our understanding of these sites and in terms of the level of discovery. It speaks again to the aspects of this battle, which was not only between ships, but aircraft. We're really still at the exploration phase in deep sea science. We are decades, if not a century behind our terrestrial counterparts and understanding the ecosystems in the deep sea. And largely that's because we just don't visit these places that often and they're exceedingly hard to visit. There is a really critical need for better understanding of these deep sea ecosystems to help improve management moving forward as the human footprint expands across the planet. One of the most exciting things about being on this ship is that there is a really broad interdisciplinary team of scientists, engineers, and ship's crew coming together to help us do the work that we're doing here in Papahanaumokuakea and make our work here a lot stronger. Working in the deep sea alone is, is really special, but especially in these places that they're really remote and they're protected. It really is an honor and a privilege to be able to do engineering work and scientific work out here. Voltage is zero, dive soup, vehicle cold. Dive soup off comms.